I don't always draw male automoblox trophies, but when I do, I use Mr. Ponder's videos. Hi there. We're going to be doing this automoblox male figure, just like here. There's some things about this that we've never done before, um, just starting with the ellipse. So, um, and that'll be like the second step. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this uh, squ square right here. So you're going to open up Inventor, and there's what it'll kind of look like. All right, so let's go new. And then we'll start a sketch here, and I'll put it on the XY plane. And do, we'll do a square that's point. 575 by .575 and then we will extrude that .3 alright so the next thing we want to do is we want to make an ellipse and that ellipse we want centered on there um, just like that so if I go here and create a sketch and I hit project geometry. Uh, one of the ways I like to do this is I'll find the center point and I'll take a line. So I'm going to take my line and I'm going to call this point two three six, and then I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to draw another line at the center point straight up perpendicular and that's going to be 0.155 and hit escape and then I'm going to make an ellipse so you can find the ellipse if you hit the down arrow underneath your circle so you'll hit ellipse and you start it at the center and you'll go over to your major axis and then your minor and, and those two lines just gave me a reference point but now I need to delete them. So I'm going to click on the, the dimension and hit delete on the keyboard. Click on it and hit delete. Make sure you hit delete, not backspace. And then go ahead and trim that line and trim that line. We're going to finish the sketch and extrude this point 115. All right. And then I want to do actually another ellipse right on top of that. So I'm going to click on here and add a new sketch and project my geometry of the ellipse I just did. Don't do this part. The ellipse I just did and then offset that 0 0.05. And then we want to extrude that. So I'm going to finish that sketch and extrude the inside and the outside and we want that to be extrude that 0.84 alright so I did that but here's something new you want to hit the more and make it the taper 10 so that it gives you that angle hit OK so this is a good spot to now save your work so I'm gonna hit go here Go to Inventor and type in um, Mail Automoblox and then your initials. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of change this around. So I want this to be my front view. So I'm going to right click on this and go to uh, Set Current View as Front. And I want to set that as Top. Alright, so I also want to hit this corner or this corner and I want to right click on my home button and say set this current view as home and then fix distance and so now I've just reset my um, visual cube here so it makes it a little easier to pan around. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is this will be helpful because then I'm going to click on my right view. And so it is the, the thinner view. So this is our front. It's kind of wider. Um, this is our, our right side. So I'm going to click on this and uh, create a new sketch. 
you may have never noticed, but there are some buttons down here, and we want this one right here, slice graphic. And you can see what it just did was it just cut everything vertically um, with our surface area straight up. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to work on this right side that we just kind of cut up. So I want to project this, and I want to use my line tool and start right in the middle. So I'll find my midpoint. I'm going to go straight up, and, uh, you know, 1.4 is fine. It doesn't have to be exactly 1.4. Um, I'm also going to take a line, and I'm going to just kind of start it right here all right so the dimension of this I want this to be 1.6 and then I want actually from this point to here I want that to be half of that so that's um, 0.8 all right uh, now I'm going to take my arc and I'm going to do a three-point arc. So I'm going to go uh, endpoint, endpoint, and then I'm going to just try to try to eyeball something close to there. All right, I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to. Take my line, and I'm going to go down to the corner. i got to grab that line again. I want to go from the bottom right corner up. And then for a third time, I want to grab my line and come across. And now I'm going to trim some things away. I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, it won't let me. Why won't it let me? Um, probably because I have some dimensions in some places. So let's get rid of some dimensions and trim it away and finish the sketch. You can see I've got something looks just like that. All right, then we're going to extrude it, and we want to extrude this. It's a solid because I've connected all of the points. And we also want to do that. And sometimes it's a little easier. Let's see if I hit escape. Sometimes it's easier if I hit extrude and I start here and then I hit that. Um, we want to use the intersect. We want to go through all. And we want to include everything. So we want to go both directions. Hit OK. We've got this cool shape. That looks like that. 